Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, playing some more Scrap Mechanic. Today we're going to be doing another theme park update. Now I do apologize about not having a video yesterday. Uh, the past two or three days have been really busy. I've had family out and I just have not had a lot of time. And this episode is going to be more about the creations that you guys have been sending me. Now I did finish the farm bot area and it is now a laggy mess, but we'll go over more of that as we go on because uh, there's a couple things I want to discuss about the future of the park and just what's happening with it right now. Also, I'm going to talk a little bit later about a couple projects that I have going on. Of course, this is one of them. I've got the Space Town and then I've got one secret project that I can't really talk about right now, but I am working on it. Uh, hopefully that will be unveiled in the future. Now, I warn you, there's going to be parts of this park that are going to lag like crazy and it's just started up and it's kind of bad. Uh, hopefully that new engine comes out within the next week or two. They said by the end of September uh, Hopefully that's true. You never know with them, but if it is hopefully it will change the game Hopefully it'll be just something where a lot of my maps run good. I of course the town uh, This map starting to lag a little bit, so we'll see what happens there with that But anyways, let's go ahead and jump right in and we're gonna go ahead and check out some of the viewer creations first And then we'll go to the farm bot area last because it's really laggy Oh man, where to start out with this? I've now basically completed this left side of the park. This is where a lot of those rides that I had last episode, I didn't know where to put them. And a lot more rides that you guys have been sending me. Now if you don't see your ride, it's not because I don't want to use it. It's because I'm still backlogged on them and there's so many fantastic rides. Like I could never do it justice at the moment. Especially considering how it's running right now. If I throw many more rides in, it's gonna be unplayable, but anyways, let's go ahead and check out one of our new ones. Now this is by Zachary. He's actually sent us a couple things before. He sent us the, uh, I believe that was the Six Degrees of Terror that's over in the FarmBot world. And he sent us a game that we're gonna check out and he sent us a ride. Now this is probably my favorite ride now. Uh, this is called the Starburst. It's really good looking, but it's what it does is really what sets it apart. Now let me pull up the spider web here. You can see there's a lot of bearings. Uh, there's a lot of logic going on here. Uh, you can see there's a lot going under it. Uh, those are like little locks that stay in place. And what this thing does, it's kind of like a swinging ship like what we have over there. Except for it will do complete rotations. Uh, this part here spins. And it is really, really awesome. And it's all done through logic. So it's not player control. You just click the button and it's going to go through a whole process. Uh, let me go ahead and make sure everything's good to go here. He's got a little control panel here in the side, so let's hit this. And that should lower that down. I believe everything's set up. Uh, I've been playing with this thing a little bit. He's got some instructions on it. Now, all these creations are available on the workshop. I'll try to link all of it in the description. If I miss anything from anybody, just let me know if you're one of the creators of a ride or a stall. Still got a lot of stuff to go over here in this episode, so uh, if I miss it, just let me know after. But anyways, let's go ahead and get this show on the road here. I'm trying to think, I guess we're going to start it up down here. It's been a while since I've started this. I've been going through so many of these rides, it's been absolutely nutty. Alright, I believe it's this green button here, here we go. Now I warn you, this thing is completely awesome. But it can also do some weird things in the world, but looks like it's going good right now. Go ahead and back off a little bit, that way you can get the uh, view. I absolutely would not ride this. Like, that is terrifying. I don't see how anybody would get enjoyment from that, but it is still a really, really awesome ride. And you can see how it pitches back and forth, and you can see the uh, thrusters on the end. And there it goes. There's its complete rotation there. I think it's going to do it again. It's crazy how much stress is on that bearing, because those are all really, really heavy pieces. And I think they're being held on by just two free bearings up there, so that's a... Uh, that's crazy. Now I would hop on this thing and ride it, but to be honest with you, the, with the way the camera works on first person, it doesn't look good at all. I, I really wish that the camera would be locked to the head, that way when you're spinning and moving it would look right, but anyways, you can see some of the uh, underside there. And it's going to lower itself back into place and these arms will come up and lock it down and then you can get the riders out. And it's cool because the whole floor even collapses. Uh, this is a uh, very, very awesome creation. Now, I've talked to this guy, and uh, he's all about 
the features on the rides as far as safety features like everything gets locked down and it won't release anybody until it's safe basically now i'm just waiting for the floor to come up here it should now it might be it looks like it might be stuck here let's see very well could be let me go ahead and hit the switch over here i believe there's a reset all right i'm letting it cycle back through hopefully the uh, floor will raise up i've seen some really weird things happen with some of these rides uh, when they're going i guess it's because this area is so busy that uh for some reason you can set a block down on certain items and it'll like reset the physics like if a door ever gets stuck you set one down you and you erase it and it fixes everything uh, really strange that that's a thing but uh, there's nothing much i can do about it right now it's just kind of a scrap mechanic thing anyways we're gonna put that down back into place that should be good but yeah that is on the workshop that is a very awesome ride is under starburst i'll have it linked in the description anyways we got another ride here now this one's morally player controlled you might have seen these i think we have one in our state fair i don't think i've seen it anywhere else but uh, you can somewhat read the top there. Actually, it's upside down right now. It says speed and it swaps over. Uh, what you do here, now this is one of those rides. It's another one that's really terrifying. This is actually taller than the drop tower that we created. So this is officially the tallest ride in the park. But yeah, you would hop into here. I'm going to actually try to jump into this one. Kind of give you a feel for how just how tall it is. So hop into here. The one key lowers that. That way it clears because this thing comes by really fast. I believe... I think it's the three key. Let me go ahead and get this going a little bit. And uh, the camera acts a little funny right here. So I'm going to go ahead and get this going. I think the uh, safety measures are locked down. They have these little lap bars. I'm going to kind of send it back over here. That way I can get a look at it. Nope, that didn't work. Let's go ahead and send it over one more time here. Kind of watching for the shadow since the camera won't let me look. Ooh, the safety bars are not up right now. So let's go ahead and we'll put those up. We're going to activate the ride. We're going to stand back, get a good look at it. And then I'm going to try to hop onto this one. Now look at that. That is also very terrifying. Actually, not. it's got one more button here. I can see I didn't activate it. Let's go ahead and hit the uh, 4 key. Up. No, actually, it's the 5 key. Whoa. All right, now they're spinning. So the seat spin and the whole thing spins. Uh, that is, that's something. I say that I won't ride a lot of rides. Now, I do love roller coasters, but stuff like this just does not do anything for me. That is really cool looking though. Is that made completely out of metal or I believe or no maybe that's wood because if that's metal he's got that swinging really fast. That's a really big piece. Uh, let me try to stand in front of it here. I doubt this is going to work but you never know. Nope I'm not going to be able to jump into that. Uh, a lot of these rides are meant for you and your friends. Like somebody's going to play operator and the other people are going to ride. So it's really hard to jump into some of these rides. And I don't I don't believe you can control this one from the seats. It's all down here in the operator station. So let's go ahead and kill this one real quick. Let's see, I believe it's four and five should kill it. It's probably gonna get stuck here. Yep. It's kind of a kind of in a bad spot, but that's okay. But yeah, that's a another really cool ride. That's by Dusty. He's provided a lot of our mini games and a lot of our I think he's provided like a stall. But let me go ahead and walk around here and show you what I've built on this side. I've now completed the paths around here. Uh, there's a little bare area in there. I need to fill that in with grass, but uh, these were the two rides from the last episode. I've found a place for them. Uh, they were setting way back there earlier, so those actually look really good where they are. I'm just really satisfied with this whole side, but uh, yeah, let's go over and check out some of the stalls that I've been sent. I've got another really cool game too, so let's go over there and check that out. Okay, for the new stalls. Now, I've been sent a drink stall, and there's a couple soda machines around here. I'll have to point them out. Uh, these were sent to me by Scrubmaster. Now, a lot of people were complaining that you don't have anywhere to go drink, and I just figured that, you know, every food stall basically has some sort or some form of drink, but he's created a dedicated drink stall here. It's like a lot of the Roller Coaster Tycoon games have stuff like this, and I really like this building. Like, he's got the roof slanted, which is really cool looking. Uh, we can walk up into here, and you can see back there, it's got tons of soda options. Let's go ahead and jump inside, actually. Let's go around the back here. Now, I do apologize about the lag here. It's just kind of a thing right now in the park. That's why I'm going to have to slow down a bit on building it. But uh, let's go ahead and hop into here. A really, really detailed inside. Like, 
there's uh, just so much to it. And you can see these little drawers open up. You've got that, you've got all the little, I guess, cans, uh, fountains, maybe some of these are those flavored mixers. Uh, a lot of different options, and hold on, let's check it. Oh, he doesn't have a duck here, but he's got a really detailed inside. It looks like some more cans. Uh, let's see, how did he do that roof? Is that, I'm assuming it's on a bearing somewhere. And, oh, there it is, it's a free bearing. So obviously he's got the bricks built up on one side, and he's probably lowered it by a couple and let the uh, roof just kind of set down. It's a really cool way to do that. So let's go ahead and close that. Yeah, you just got storage down here under it. Uh, that's a really awesome looking stall here. Let's see, there's more drinks there and more there. That's really cool. But yeah, this is also on the workshop. But yeah, definitely thanks to Scrubmaster for sending that. Uh, he's got some drink machines around the park. I'll probably run into one. I know I've got one in the uh, FarmBot area that we'll check out. Now, here's another stall. Now, I'm going to say this completely wrong. I'm gonna say it once because I've looked up different ways to pronounce this and everybody seems to have a different opinion on it. I say poutine or poutine. <laughs> I don't know, that sounds really odd to me and I'm probably saying it completely wrong. Uh, it's really a food that's based in uh, Canada and I've never tried it. I have no clue what it tastes like. It sounds like it could go either way. I, guess I need to ask Khan or Moombo if it tastes good but what it is it's fries with a gravy it looks like a brown gravy but it could be something completely different and cheese curds I have no idea how it tastes I don't like I know I'm saying the word wrong uh, it's probably gonna be those things I'm gonna make somebody mad by saying it like that but I just I don't know much about it but I know you probably got your deep fryers back here. You got a little counter that you make it. Uh, services up here. What is this? Oh yeah, this is the, uh, it's got one of the things up there and it's spinning around. You got that, uh, you do have ducks in the fridge. Now this was sent to me by Thunder King. This is also on the workshop. Uh, I would just wish I could pronounce it. I'm pretty sure somebody in the comment section is gonna have something to say about that, but I'll uh, look it up again. I was just browsing around the internet. I was like, how or what is this and how do I say it? But it's definitely a really neat looking stall. I love the color design on it. I love the spinning food up on top. Uh, I've got that with uh, Moombo's ice cream shop over there. It's got a spinner top. Kind of probably need to do that with the uh, burger stand that I created, but it's a definitely a nice looking stall and it just fits in so perfectly. Like this midway area has just grown so large with so many different stalls and the gift shop, the stage. Now I've got one more stall that I'm gonna look at and this was sent to me by GG Night Gamer. And it is a popcorn stall. And, oh, there's one of those drink machines. I was talking about it. That's uh, another drink machine by Scrubmaster. I've got one here. Uh, it doesn't really do anything. It just looks fantastic. And I've got another one over at the FarmBot restaurant. But anyways, we've got a uh, popcorn stall here. This is also the new game. We'll go over that here in a second. Yeah, here's a popcorn stall that was sent to me. Uh, really cool looking. I uh, couldn't really think of any other way to do this besides maybe make it look like a big bucket of popcorn, but even then, I don't know what you would use for the kernel, so uh, it looks really cool. Kind of reminds me of the Roller Coaster Tycoon ones. Uh, you can see all the popcorn here up on the shelves. It's got a little popcorn maker here in the back, and all this is ready to go. Uh, maybe that popcorn, hopefully that's fresh. That's been Looks like that could be sitting there for a long time, but. A uh, really nice little stall. Perfect color scheme, like I wanted to build a popcorn stall and this is probably about what it was gonna look like. I love the uh, 3D letters, how it's all, they're all different shapes and sizes and they just kind of pop out from the stall. So definitely that's fantastic. Thank you to GG Night Gamer. That's uh, really cool, it's also on the workshop. But yeah, before we go to the farm bot area, that's where I've been doing a little bit of building and I'll kind of wrap this up over there. I want to show you guys something that Zachary has also built. Now Zachary's built the Starburst, he's built the Six Degrees of Terror over in the FarmBot area, uh, and he's built this. He's also built some other things. Uh, I don't have everything in the park. Uh, you guys have been crazy about sending me stuff, and I gotta see like what's gonna cause lag and what's gonna crash the park. But uh, he did send me something that when I saw it, I was like, how does that even work? And it's batting cages. Now I'm going to go ahead and just let you look at the inside of this real quick. You go through here. Now to bat you're going to need the hammer and I've only been successful at hitting something once. But uh, what happens here? 
you've got this little button here. Now it's going to activate and it's already spinning. And what happens, you're going to load the back up with most likely, I think it's metal blocks. They're going to fall down, hit that sensor in there, and I kind of show you the spider web. And they're going to roll on those rollers and they're going to get into these two wheels and it'll shoot it out at you. And you're supposed to try to swing and hit it. Uh, it's a really, really cool design. He demonstrated it to me a little bit, and it was like, wow, this is kind of crazy. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think. It seems like it's running permanently, and I thought maybe... Let me hit that switch again. I thought maybe it was supposed to stop. Actually, maybe that... I believe that's the rollers that I'm activating. Yeah, it is. So I'm going to go ahead and stop that, and let's go load this thing up real quick. Oh, that's the gate. Okay, here is where you load it up. So like I said, you're going to use metal blocks. They are the heaviest block in the game. So let's go ahead and grab those real quick. And we're just going to pile some in here. So let's go one out. So we're going to do one there. I don't know how many you can stick in there. I guess you can stick till it's basically full. So we're going to put those. Keep putting them in there. There we go. I think we were going to have enough here get enough tries hopefully I can hit one of these it was extremely hard to hit it in multiplayer because there was so much lag but I think maybe I can get it done here since I'm hosting that should be enough now this thing occasionally jams I've had it happen to me once or twice it's just something you'll go up there and delete a couple and they should move around so let's go ahead and go back in here and let's hit the button and this should give us something here to work with you can see it there we go oh it came out quicker than I thought it was going to. There's another one. All right. Oh, yeah, I got one. Oh, that one came out really quick. Comes another one. Actually, no, I should probably be behind the line. I think he actually, I think he said you stand like right in front of the line here. Comes another one and boom. Yeah, they don't always come out perfect. And that's just something with the game. You're not hitting a perfectly round object. So it's kind of how it gets sent through those tires is the trajectory and whoa that was dangerous uh, got another one here well I hit one Let's see if we can get one more here pop out there it goes oh that was really high it actually kind of keeps that random factor if you've ever gone to a batting cage it doesn't like always shoot it down perfectly sometimes it's way off it just depends on how the tires or whatever shooting it catches and the direction it goes so it's really hard to do it with square blocks but He's done a fantastic job. I at least hit one of them, so I'm happy about that. But that's a really cool set of batting cages. I think it would be really cool to be able to set maybe about five of those together, because normally batting cages are like at least five, and most likely it's like more like ten. And you'll have different speeds. You'll have like the uh, junior ones probably go, I think, at about 30 miles an hour, 20, 30, and it kind of shoots them high. But they have some that I think they even go up to like 50 or 60 which I'm not standing in front of a baseball that does that, but some people like that kind of thing, and I think this is a definitely a fantastic creation. But anyways, I think it is time to travel to the farm bot area. Alright, as you may notice that it is not running the smoothest right now. It's going to get even more choppy once I go inside these walls. It's just something that is happening now. Uh, like I said, hopefully the engine fixes this. I don't know if it's going to. Uh, maybe it'll just improve. I mean, even if it just improves on it, it'd be great. But uh, let's go ahead and walk in here. Now, not much has changed. Uh, let's go ahead and hit this area here. It actually wasn't too terrible. It was running about the same as it does out there. Normally, it hits it a little harder. But uh, I've really mainly just done touch-up work here. I haven't had the most time to work on this this week. Of course, I've been gone a lot. But I've added little touches. Uh, some people suggested the uh, farm bot buster when it busts through the wall. There was no debris. So I've added that. That's actually stuck to the ground. That way it's not loose objects. I've completed the farm bot restaurant, which is actually the gas station over here. Added one of those soda machines to the outside of it. I've gone through the farm bot fun house, which I'm not going to go through it again here today. Uh, if you want to see that, I'll probably have that episode in the description. I've done some paint touch up. I've tried to make the bearings where the big farm bot pops out at the end uh, I've smoothed that up a little bit and I've adjusted some controllers in there uh, Zachary actually the guy who's been making some of these rides went in there and did a couple little things to it uh, he, he made one farm bot scream at you but that save file that uh, was sent to me was a little it ran really really bad in this area even worse than it's running right now so I couldn't keep that 
But I'm going to try to at least get that part back in there. Uh, he had also had a farm bot that was sitting on the outside of the fence. So, but anyways, I'm going to walk down the street here. Uh, nothing much has changed here. You still got the six degrees of terror. And you've got a couple of abandoned buildings, a lot of fence er fenced off areas. Uh, you've got a new watchtower over here. I brought in that old damaged Jeep. I was debating on what I wanted to put in this corner. It was a fairly big area, but I was like, I don't think I need to stick another building here for lag sake, but I did stick the Jeep in here. It's all completely blown apart. Uh, there's a completed version of this Jeep on my workshop if you'd like to see it. Uh, it's really cool. It handles great. I think it's under maybe Armor Jeep or Apocalypse Jeep, but it's on there if you'd like to check that out. Of course, got the ride by Colin over here. It's a fantastic ride. Uh, let's go back over in this area and let's go check out the uh, FarmBot restaurant. It's a pretty plain restaurant. It's more like a, I would say probably a fast food joint. You don't typically have, except for like in Disney World, stuff like that, you'll have some really good set down restaurants. But this is kind of a come in, order your food and get out type joint. Uh, you can walk in. We've got a little hostess table here. Uh, if you want to be seated here, I'm, I'm assuming, I like I was debating if I wanted to be like a walk up to the counter and order, but so, all the stalls are pretty much like that. So I guess you can say it's somewhat of a sit down restaurant, but it's not like a very proper looking place. I mean, this is in the farm bot apocalypse and everything's torn apart and looks depressing. So anyways, you've got all the tables here. Uh, that's that little slab piece. Uh, it looks like I don't even know what it's called, I have to check it, but it's at the top of the uh, gas station awning here. Actually makes a really nice looking table. Got that, got some chairs. And instead of like a nice candle or something, I figured let's go ahead and just stick a tote bot head on each of these. Got that area. Uh, the cook, or the kitchen area is actually like an open kitchen. I thought about adding a room to the back and maybe making it a kitchen like that, but I figured it's going to break the way the gas station is supposed to look. It's going to look odd where it's extended back there. So I made it like an open kitchen here. Uh, you've got a stove area. You've got all these little things like a vent hood up here. You've got a little fridge. Of course, I've got ducks in it. A little two-way fridge here. Just a really basic edit of this building. I didn't want to do too much to it. Uh, there's not a lot of area to work with, but I needed plenty of seating and just a basic kitchen area. So... Actually happy with the way that came out. The only thing I might still do with this is maybe make another sign to represent that this is a fast food restaurant or a, a farm bot restaurant. So I'm debating on what I want to do there. But anyways, that's about it for the farm bot area. I cannot make it any more busy because it is running like garbage right now. I, I guess it's kind of got the same issue that the farm bot factory had. Whenever you close something up this big, like you can see the fenced area around it. Kind of makes it run bad, so we'll get a jump in performance as soon as we hop out here. That's a little jump, not too much. But yeah, that is about it for this theme park update. Now, I would say that I'm accepting a whole bunch more, but I need to slow down on accepting stuff. Uh, I still have tons of stuff I haven't checked out. And I'm starting to get limited by what I can put in here because it's starting to run bad. But anyways, that's going to about wrap it up for this update theme park update this is morally about the viewers on this episode this whole thing has been a community build uh, you guys have been so generous with the stuff that you've been sending me it's been awesome now i will have some more scrap mechanic coming up i'll have time to actually work on stuff uh, the first this weekend or the first this week was just so busy that it was just been really hard but i'm glad i got to sit down today check out some of these creations correct some issues in the park that i wanted to basically finish up the FarmBot factory. I got that left side looking a lot better than it did. Now, I know some people are going to say talk about the roller coaster. Uh, the roller coaster, the only way it's going to be possible, I've already tested out a lot, and it's, it's very hard to do. But we're going to need some different parts, and we're going to need that new engine before we can even think about doing a roller coaster, because... That thing is going to have so many bearings, at least the way I want, it, I want to create it. It's going to have tons of bearings, but... I don't know, we'll have to see what happens there, but I still want to put some more rides in here, maybe a couple more little themed areas. It all depends on how the performance is. But yeah, as far as my other projects, I am still working on the Moon Town. I should have an update on that this week. Uh, I've got some viewer creations that I want to check out, and I've got a secret project. Now, I don't know if this secret project, if I'm going to show you what it is this week and show you what it's all about, uh, I kind of want to but then again I don't know if it's gonna work yet so I'm gonna work on it some more 
It's I'll keep it a secret until I'm ready to tell you guys what it is. Uh, hopefully the new engine update comes out. Uh, I want to say, hey, maybe it's going to come out Friday since that's pretty far into September. But more likely it's probably going to be out next week if it hits the September mark. Uh, you never know with them. But anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the episode. I am going to be bringing another game to the channel. Uh, you should see an episode, hopefully, of that tomorrow, if not during the weekend. But anyways, uh, the download for this is in the description. I'm going to try to get everything I can of mine onto the workshop here very soon. So, anyways, if you like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. And we will see you guys next time. Thank you.